Hello Internet, this is a small tutorial series about the Trackmania editor because there's almost no uh, information about it in the game and I want you to build more awesome tracks for me to play. So um, this is the first video, we're gonna go into the basics. First of all, um, always choose advanced uh, if you can. Go to mouse and keyboard. I think the gamepad is a bit limited. Uh, yeah, advanced. Choose any time of the day. You can change that later. And let's get into how to move around. Um, this is the only info in the game. And I will quickly show you how that works. So um, if you go to the screen border, you will move around. But that's pretty... Eh. I don't know. Um, I usually use the Alt key and then left click, hold and you can move around, right click, uh, Alt key, right click, you can rotate, mouse wheel, you can go up and down, Alt and mouse wheel, you can zoom, that's everything you need. Then let's go into how to build a basic track, uh, choose a start, with right click you can rotate it, the game will automatically place some scaffolding if it's in the air. You can turn that off with this button, air block mode. As you can see, now we have a floating piece of track. Let's place a finish. And now we have a track. As soon as we have only one start and at least one finish, this flag in the bottom right will turn yellow. You can then click it and validate your track. Otherwise you cannot um, release it. Great. We have now driven the track and have set the author time. And the author time, with the author time, there will also automatically be some times for gold, silver and bronze. And you can edit those in set map objectives if you want some different times. If you Hold the X key and select a block. You can delete it. With Ctrl Z you can go one back, step back and with Ctrl Y you can go one step forward. If you want to transition to a different style of block, look at the end of the blocks. So you can see this one is yellow. So you can merge it together with another yellow block. And with this transition piece we are now at the ice blocks and can transition to ice. Let's control Z because no one likes ice. I actually think it's kind of fun, but... And let's look at one more shortcut. If you press the control key and go over a block, you then have that block selected. It's pretty handy. And let's look at some more special blocks. The sign place anywhere you want and then if you want to edit the sign go to the skinning mode with F5 or this button click the sign and you can then choose a background and a foreground which is usually arrow keys and click OK. You can also select a custom URL. Okay we can use any URL that's online Let's go to Imager. Uh, it has to be a JPEG file. See if this is a JPEG file. Uh, this is not the image URL. I always go to uh, open image a new tab and there we have the image URL. It is JPEG so it should work. Put it in here. Press OK. Great, now we have the image in the game. We can turn off the arrows and there it is. <clears throat> That's the skinning mode. Another uh, block where the skinning mode is pretty useful is these lamps, for example. Place a lamp, go to skinning mode, click on the lamp, and we can change the color to red. And you can see it. And it will, after calculating the lights, look very red also under uh, on the track, especially if you choose night time. Let's quickly do that. Okay, you can see red light. Okay, 
two more things I want to show in this video are the different modes. So um, if we, for example, place a track like this and afterwards we want to have another piece which goes here, we cannot place it in the normal mode because the square are overlapping. But if you press um, the second mode or F2, we are now in ghost block mode and we can place this block anywhere we want. Also, we can put them completely inside, but watch out, there will sometimes be some flickering happening and most people hate it. In this mode, they uh, also split the track piece and the scaffolding piece into two, so you can place the scaffolding by your own if you want. Last mode is complete free mode, so you can see we can place it off the grid anywhere we want. And we can also rotate it in very small increments. And I haven't seen any explanation of how to rotate it, so it took me pretty long to figure out, but it's just pressing the arrow keys. Left and right, up and down, or a mixture. Now we have this placed like this. And after we placed one block in free mode, the next will snap to it. But if you do not want it to snap, because maybe want to place it not here but slightly to the right hold the shift key and now uh, snapping is disabled last thing decorations are in this second button and uh, for example here we have the pillars and the pillars also have some presets you can cycle through on different undergrounds. For example, on the road, you see we place a pillar in the middle, but if you then click on the right mouse button, we can cycle through different preset options. It will not work with everything on every surface though. So the trees will, for example, rotate through some presets on the grassy area that quickly you can see different presets cool okay uh, one more thing if you have a uh, part of the track and you see you need it in a different place you can copy the whole thing with this copy paste mode or C and then for example cut the selection and put it over there if you have any questions about these features I've shown you, uh, leave them in the comments. I have another video uh, explaining checkpoints, especially uh, linked checkpoints, and also the media tracker. I hope you have learned something. Goodbye.